today, we will look at some examples of HCF and LCM. There are some fruits in this box. Can you find the minimum number of fruits that can be divided into 9, 12 and 15 equal parts? In the given example, we have to find the minimum number of fruits that can be divided into 9, 12 and 15 equal parts. This is possible only when the number of fruits is divisible by 9, 12 or 15. In order to find the minimum number of such fruits, we need to find the LCM of 9, 12 and 15. To do this, we will write these numbers as follows. Now we will find the smallest prime number which will divide at least one of them, that is 2. But 9 cannot be divided by 2, so we will write it in the next row as it is. We will divide 12 by 2 and write the result in the next row. 15 is not divisible by 2, so we write it again as such in the next row. By repeating the process, we will again divide the numbers by 2. We will write 9 and 15 in the next row as it is and divide 6 by 2 and write down the result 3 in the next row. The next smallest prime number to divide them is 3. Because the numbers 9, 3 and 15 is not divisible by 2, we will continue the process till we get 1, 1, 1 in the same row. In order to find the LCM of 9, 12 and 15, multiply these prime numbers to get 180. So, there should be a minimum of 180 fruits in the box. Next example. Harsh loves to solve puzzles. One day, he found a puzzle in a book. Puzzle was, I am a number which divides 324 and leaves 9 as a remainder and divides 470 and leaves 5 as a remainder. He got 15 as the solution. Can you tell whether he's correct or wrong? Let's understand the puzzle first. In the puzzle, the number divides 324 and leaves 9 as a remainder and divides 470 and leaves 5 as a remainder. If we subtract the remainder from dividend, the number obtained is completely divisible by the divisor. This means, by subtracting 9 from 324, we get 315 and this is completely divisible by the required number. Similarly, by subtracting 5 from the number 470, the number obtained will be completely divisible by the required number. That means, the required number will be the highest factor of both 315 and 465, which we call HCF. Let's find out the HCF of 315 and 465. First, perform the prime factorization of 315. We get 315 is equal to 3 into 3 into 5 into 7. Now perform the prime factorization of 465. We get 465 is equal to 3 into 5 into 31. Both 315 and 465 have 3 and 5 as factors. Hence, the HCF of 315 and 465 is 3 into 5 which is 15. Let's check our answer. If we divide 324 by 15, we get 21 with a remainder of 9, which is correct according to the riddle. Similarly, if we divide 470 by 15, we get 31 and a remainder of 5, which is again correct according to the riddle. Therefore, we can say that Harsh has found the correct answer to the riddle. Today, we saw some examples of the following concepts. In the next video, we will clear some misconceptions related to this.